What's going on guys? Today we are duck hunting. We are in southeast Kansas right now. We are actually at the Flint Oak Lodge. Magnificent place. We are here with Preston. You guys know Preston and Bobby and Austin and Brad. We got the whole ducks crew here today. We are here on the last duck hunt of the entire season. Super stoked. You guys stay tuned. It's going to be insane. All right, so we just got to the blind this morning. Uh, we have a perfect wind for this blind here. Uh, we got an east wind, so coming out our back, some birds are gonna be coming right in our face. The sun's at our back as well, so that's gonna keep us nice and hidden. Um, I don't know, what are we throwing out? About two and a half, three dozen decoys, and it's gonna be chilly. gentlemen we've shot some birds have we not boys we have yeah we are we are absolutely wrecking them right now and uh right now the birds aren't flying so we're just kind of kicked back sipping on some coffee relax and tomorrow a little little high a little sneak peek i should say is we're doing a snow goose hunt in uh in potentially white it's potentially going to snow tomorrow so it's going to be a little bit interesting what's going to happen and uh really looking forward but right now this is the first duck hunt that we've actually used this guy right here the ducks waterfowl call and uh, I will link down below if you guys want it. We also got lanyards, we got hats, we have hoodies, we have all sorts of fun stuff. We got gun stickers. And uh, really excited to use this call, put it to the test, see if it really works. So far, so good. We're going to see what happens next. <laughs> Got him. Oh, 
That's gonna be That's such good. Dude, pillowcase. Dude, that was no, oh Bobby, God. miss, miss. Dude, I missed it. Look at that, folks. Big old pile of green. We shot a seven man limit today with the Ducks crew. Bunch of green heads. Absolutely fantastic day hunting. Probably the best. It actually is. It actually is the best duck hunt of my entire life. So huge shout out to Preston for inviting us down. Remember, you guys can click the link down below if you guys want to come here and do this for yourself. What do you guys think? Was that fun? Oh yeah. That was that was the closest Best I've ever had year. ducks feet down. Feet down. In ducks, mallards in your face. That's what you want, folks. Mallards in your face. We just packed up, got the birds in the back of the truck, everything is loaded up. Now we are headed scouting for tomorrow's snow goose hunt. Gotta go find the fields, gotta go find the feeds, gotta go find the X. <laughs> Scouted this. Uh, th this field here has been getting hit day and night for about three days. Um, the roost that I, the body of water where they roost overnight, uh, they should be there right now. It's 2:30. They should be on the water midday, and they're not. I'm afraid somebody might have hunted that roost that looked like they had decoys out. So uh, that's that's not a good thing because the birds that we were going to hunt in this field tomorrow might have been shot at and bumped and pushed. To, a, uh, to another part, you know, it might be a couple miles away, maybe another roost, but can't find them right now. So I guess we're gonna uh, go check out another part of town. It's just now getting to that point to where they should start getting off the water to go to f go feed at night. So about 3, 3.30 in about an hour, we should see a ton of birds in the sky and we're gonna have to come back here in about two hours to check this field again. Saw some snow geese in a cornfield and some dark Canadian geese. So we came back with the binoculars, looked at it, and it ended up being a spread. A couple guys out hunting in lay down blinds using a flag. So we're going north now and scouting some more birds, seeing where they're going, following them right now. Look at all, look at all, whole yeah. string of them. For as far as you can see, they they finally started to get up. But we got some going left, some going right. Yep. Some there's some behind us, there's some coming right over there. There's another string coming right over us right now. Look at there's another one right there. I didn't even see that one. They're everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. They're all headed to go feed right now. We gotta find. We gotta find which feed that they're on and get permission on that field and find the X. Yeah, Bobby, I think here's your first big water snow right here. Is Look at treetops. Oh yeah, there's a bunch there, there coming they are. from the southwest. They're all above the trees now. That's yeah. They're getting up late. It's 4:20. They're finally. They're finally decided to get up they're and go feed. Over, they're they're flying over here. This is. They, there's another big group that looks like it's headed towards uh, Sean's dad. Yeah, that's a lot of birds. Look at them. They're, I mean, it's, as far as you can see, they're all shrugged yeah, out. They're, they're all right. very long. Is there some back there as well? Well, fellas, I think we found the X. Drove around for a couple hours. We didn't see a bird for two hours. And then they started getting up, and we found where they're feeding. Our only issue is the conditions are gonna change drastically. Today was 40 degrees, sunny, not really all that windy. Tomorrow, it's gonna be in the teens, blizzarding conditions, and a 20 to 25 mile an hour north wind. So it's gonna be a complete 1A. So although they're here right now, that doesn't mean they're gonna be here tomorrow. Obviously, they're gonna to go to water to roost. We're not sure where they're gonna land, but this is where we're putting all of our eggs in one basket, folks. This is where we're gonna set up shop tomorrow morning and uh, 
and really just hope for the best. Hopefully that snow keeps them, keeps them locked in on this field. Take them!